Hey guys, welcome to Sketch Day. I'm Spencer, where every day I give you a new tutorial or demo covering something about drawing or how to sketch. And this week, if you didn't know, like last week, the Star Wars movie is coming out. And I'd like to just sketch a few more fun things from the movie. One of the things that's really captivated a lot of people is the new droid, BB-8, little robot. And it's pretty simple in terms of uh, construction and how he's made. So I'm going to take a look at how I would go about sketching something like BB-8 using pens and markers and pencils. So grab those and let's get started. So one of my general rules about drawing is, <clears throat> well, two rules actually, when in doubt, rough it out and light till you get it right. Now looking at BB-8, he's made up of two spheres. So I can draw a nice big sphere here and another sphere on top. Now the sphere on top is actually cut in half. So just lightly with my pencil, ever so lightly, I can cut this in half here. And there we go, there's BB-8. Now if we wanted a different pose, of course, so it seems like when he's in motion, his head kind of tips back or forward a little bit, okay, depending on direction. But just for simplicity, let's keep, well actually I'm going to move the head back just a little bit because I think that would be fun. So something like that. Now on the front of BB-8, if we, we can kind of divide <clears throat> our droid here, a little center line on the top and the bottom. And now I can start to draw in things like this cool little eyeball that he's got and also his secondary, we'll just call it optical sensor. I have no idea what it is because I haven't seen the movie yet and we'll see kind of how things work out here. But now that I've got the form, I can start to divide and then beautify by adding in some of those details from the droid design. And understanding how something's put together, how it works, is super beneficial to being able to draw it from any, any angle. So I'm gonna go ahead here and start to pick out where to put one of his de defining features. Now, if you look at BB-8, in the concepts, in the trailers, all that good stuff, he's got these like circle, orange circle things on his body and they happen to be at 90 degrees to each other, top to bottom. And just for simplicity, I'm gonna position those in that way. Okay, so it's almost like you're taking slices of your sphere here. And I've got a little offset. And it looks like we've got at 90 degrees to each other inside the circles, these little details here. And we'll, we'll bring this out with some marker and you'll see how this kind of works when we do our final, final drawing. And then inside of this, these circles, now only two of these are kind of showing, so I'm only gonna show it in the two, but we've got this like gray circle on the inside that kind of fills up and completes the design in the middle here. Okay, so there's my half circle little detail. And he's got some little glyph-like characters there and some other little gray detail. The same thing over here. And I'm just going to kind of guess, guess where these uh, end up for effect um, as I'm doing this. Okay, but those are going to be some great details in there. And he's got some parting lines on his body and some screws, details, things like that. So just fake, I'm just going to kind of fake that in for general effect. Now we know BB-8 lives in a desert, or at least we don't know, he's on a desert planet in a trailer. If you haven't seen the trailer, my apologies. But I'm just going to hint at some kind of a background here. So now I'm at a point where I can use my markers to start bringing out some of the details. And because 
BB-8 is a, looks like it's a little bit weathered, been in the desert, been around the block, so to speak. I'm going to use a 30% gray marker to capture the shading on my sphere. So what I'm trying to do here is capture a shadow pour through the spare. I'm assuming that the scene's being lit from the top and to the right just a little bit. So that's where my coloring is coming from. Alright, so now that I have the main marker shading here, I'm going to do the shading for the orange rings. Okay, so the next dividing feature of BB-8 happens to be these little gray regions inside the circles. So I'm just gonna outline and shade these in as well. And looks like on his head he's got this gray band going across. So I'll shade that in and also these little details on the top seem to be part of some array of some sort.
Okay, so now we got something starting to look like BB-8 here. We're gonna do some, some more fun stuff to get this popping. Next up, I've got the kind of eyeball, the uh, lens, if you will. So to do that, what I'd like to do is kind of map out where my highlight is going to be. So assuming he's in some, some scene here, you know, there might be a couple hot spots in this scene. And so I'm going to take a very dark gray marker. And shade in everything except those hot spots that I kind of marked in. Because again, you've got to go light till you get it right. And once you shade it in, it's in. Same thing over here for his other sensor or whatever detail that happens to be. Shade that in. And because I work light, I can do things like modify how that shows up, for example. And now I can take a black pen just to add some depth to this. It's a black brush pen by Faber Castle. It's a pit brush pen. And I'm actually gonna use this for some of my line work as well, but it works well to just kind of pull those details out, okay? Whoa. Pencil got away from me there. Um, so I need to kind of capture some details on his little optical sensor here. So we'll just sketch those in real quick. All right. And there's also a few little kind of surface details, you know, like panel breaks that I just want to sketch in and make sure I capture. So I'm going to jump to my 50% warm gray to kind of pop some of these lines, okay? And I figure since he's out in the desert, he's probably, you know, his head's casting a shadow on this orange part on the top, so just laying some gray over that. And now we have a shadow on the top of BB-8. Okay, so jumping to the brush pen, now I can start to work on his outline. And I'm using my wrist here as a pivot. Using my wrist as a pivot so that I can draw those curved lines. And I can tell that my, my brush pen here, it's nice and juicy. So I wanna make sure that as I'm, as I'm drawing this, that I'm trying to stay away from the lines that I just put down, because I don't want to smudge this, right? All right, so switching from my brush pen, I can now kind of overlay my marker work just a little bit with some sketch lines. I like sketchy renderings. Um, one, because it takes the pressure off of being completely perfect with your drawing. So it's a good way to set expectation by being a little bit sketchy. Not messy, but sketchy with your lines. Um, and two, it's a lot quicker than taking, you know, hours to get 
something perfect when I can quickly capture the essence of that thing in just a few minutes. So in case you're always wondering, why is he always so sketchy with this stuff? Um, that's why. <laughs> because it does take a lot of time. When you see uh, drawings online that look really good or um, super finished, a lot of times they take, they take a long time. Um, Okay, one thing I forgot is on the top, he's got this cool little orange band. I hope, that, I hope in the movie there's some explanation as to what the bands mean in terms of color on BB-8, but he seems pretty cool. And I'm really excited for the story and to see what it all means. Hopefully it's not a letdown, of course. They haven't done any screenings or anything. Uh, to my knowledge, but maybe some of you diehard fans know a lot more than I do. Alright, so here we have a really cool sketch of BB-8, at least I hope it's really cool. Um, that, that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and continue this a little bit in another video and show you a cool way to add some effects and some background elements to this BB-8 sketch. Thanks for watching. If you want to find me, you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash sketchaday. Just be sure to click on the button that says liked and go to notifications and select all the options. That way when I do post something, you'll be the first to know. Also, you can find me on Instagram at sketchaday.com. There I do giveaways from time to time as well as it's a good way to message me. I really like the messaging on Instagram. It's pretty simple, easy to use. So feel free to reach out to me there. Or of course, as always, you can leave a comment below and you can find me here on YouTube and I'll respond to your comment. So thanks again for watching. Oh, and subscribe. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. We'll see you guys next time right here on Sketch A Day.